Uh, good morning, everyone. Uh, Gopal here. Uh, after a long time, uh, I think my last video was very long. Uh, in between a lot of challenges we had, we had to have a, some time for ourselves to, you know, make sure that we come out of the, all the challenges and difficulties you have in life. I'm trying to coming out from what I had, and it's difficult, but not uh, impossible because everybody going through that the challenges in life. Uh, today's lesson, I would like to just say that what do you really want to achieve from cricket? You know, I will be talking only cricket here. So what do you really want to achieve from this game? Uh, to play good, to enjoy, and to learn some skill, and enjoy that skill, mastering the skill. All this thing can be possible when you have a scheduled practice and scheduled matches. Uh, suppose if you are playing two games in this week, no problem, you can go out and play two matches, but then you'll have to have a two practice session as well. And when you go to a practice session, you'll have to have a specific target to achieve. In terms of, suppose if you are a batter, you think about what you really need to do today, uh, what needs to work on, I will not gonna throw my wicket, means I'm not gonna play a rest shot in the nets, I'm gonna play proper shots, or I can just go out and play power hittings, no problem, because that's a norm now. Uh, we, see, we see a lot of cricket at the moment happening all around the world, and uh, everybody's either playing T10 or 20, and then or 50 or games, and then test matches is gonna start. So there are all formats being played at the moment in the world, and everybody's busy playing that. And so if you see that, you know, if they fail today, but they come back next day better and they win the game. So losing and winning is just a part of a process and it comes and it goes. But how much you achieved out of that game, how much you've been happy for that, what you have performed, that is makes the most out of it, basically. Sometimes people give up cricket because they think, oh, there's no career in it. Oh, no, I'm not playing well. No, it's not like that, actually. Do you think so? I don't think so. You just go out, play the game because you love that game. And to love that game, you have to just go and execute and you have to enjoy the game, enjoy the process. But we take it so much seriously and we just think, that, oh, if I fail today, oh, I, I've done something wrong. It's not that. You miss the ball, you get out, or you miss the line and you get LBW or bold, or you go out cheaply. Don't try to survive in this game. You just go out and ex enjoy the game by scoring runs, by hitting the ball. Even if you get out for zero or a possible for the next 10 games, nothing wrong. You can always come back. I've been out for, from the social media video post for the last 15, 20 days, but it doesn't mean that I can't come back. I can come back. I have to do what I really want to do, coaching. And really wanted to do coaching. I understand a lot of games are happening and we only see games, the so people are already playing game, but we don't see the process, how players actually preparing themselves. So if you don't know your preparations, how are you going to make a good food? You should know the ingredients, you should know the preparation, and you should know how to make it. So how to make it is very, very important. How to execute your cricket is very, very important. Not just simply go out and play. You can go out and play, but you'll get the same result. I'll tell you something, I mean, last 20 days, we had a lot of challenges in life and I was keep on sitting on the same thing and I was just crying, I was just, I was feeling low, but that is not going to help me anywhere because what I lost, I lost. I have to come out of this. I have to get up and start working on my skill. My skill is to coach. My my enjoyment is to coach and I really enjoy coaching. So how can I stay away from my coaching? Same way, if you, are, if you are a cricketer, you really want to play cricket, then you have to go out and play. And you have to play with some purpose. You have to have a schedule. You have to have a proper timing for that, that today I'm gonna go to the nets for two hours and I make sure I bet so much and so much or I bowl on the right areas or I'll do some filling. I will do some catching because 
those are the things that are very very important so are we doing that and then you expect result result will come on a daily basis of your progress and pre uh, preparation every day you have to progress every day you have to go out and play every day you have to go out and work don't expect result when you go to school you don't expect every day the same thing that okay whatever teacher ta taught me today i know everything and i'm going to go and give an exam and i'll get 100 marks you don't get 100 marks in the school also so in cricket you can't get 100 so suppose if you don't score 100 or if you don't score 50, no problem. You will come back because you are preparing yourself. Maybe you'll score 200 tomorrow. You never know. But don't disappoint on that about your failure. Or even if you get out, people get out. Everybody gets out daily. Nobody just stay there. Nobody's Amar. Nobody's going to leave forever. Someone has to die. So everything comes in life. So you have to take it on chain and just keep moving. Work hard, schedule your practice, go to practice, prepare yourself, be ready whatever the coach offers you and learn from that rather than say, no, we know that. You know that, but you have to put it into the practice that is what coaches are trying to do that. And you have to do consistently good. You have to increase your uh, your preparation you have to say today you ball 36 ball tomorrow you ball 50 balls and 54 balls if you are spinner fast bowler make a plan batsman has to make a plan 50 ball 100 balls 200 balls 300 balls 500 balls 1000 balls 2000 balls yeah but when you play that you should have some sort of a plan the plan can be designed the plan can be worked and you need coach you need teacher the teacher is the right person to guide you because he is experienced. He missed out something in their life which he's trying to give you back. How close you are with your teacher on a daily basis? Suppose if you want to be a cr cricketer, you have to talk to your coaches. You do a lot of one-to-ones. I've seen a lot of people, a lot of kids wants to come up and say, oh, sir, can we have one-to-one? -one? I don't mind doing that. But one-to-one -one is not only that an hour where you come there, you can prepare and go home. One-to-one -one is more about exchanging the, your problems and uh, what coaches wants to say, how he wants to fix that for you. That is called one-to-one. -one. And you need to sit with the coaches regularly, talk to them, message them. Today, social media works so well. Why don't you use it properly? Speak to the coaches, send out a message, sir, I've done this, give me some more, what I should do more. Make me hard, make me strong, I want to be a strong cricketer, I really want to play good level of cricket, I want stamina, what I should eat, how much I should eat, should I eat this, should I this, eat that. Sort of a discussion is very important because this is all part of cricket. If it's all about your preparation, sir, today I only uh, had four rounds of jog and some stretch do you think i should do more how many sprints i have to hit on a daily basis how many balls i have to play how many fielding i should do how much fielding i should do how many catches i should take so today i took 100 catches wow good tomorrow i'll do 150. talk that language and you become a cricketer you don't need to think oh i really want to play cricket i want to play for my country i want to play for my state just start your day with your training and preparation or match, whatever you play, balance it out, everything. Talk to your coach, the person who is there to guide you, a person who is going to help you. Just don't, just come to the ground and just get ready and just do whatever the coaches say or whatever you want to play. And you go out and bat, you have a plan. Rather than going to the coach after the batting, you go to the coach first and just say, Sir, what do you want me to play today? What I'm good at it. Put down your points of what good you are at. Work on that good to make it better, best. So that will help you a lot. This is, uh, these are things very, very important. And I really wanted to say that. That's why we go on a cricket tour so we can 
teach you more. When we come for a practice nowadays, a four o'clock session start, finishes at six, six, five, six, ten, you go on. And before you coming, you don't have a plan to talk to your coach and say, coach, today, what do you think I should be doing? Go decide your plan and say, okay, you're gonna do this and you accept it and you do it. It's like you go to a movie and uh, we ask you to go and sit and watch the movie, but you will say, sir, I've seen this movie. I don't want to see this movie again. I want to see the new thing. Have you ever spoken to your coaches and say, sir, what I do better what I do new, which can help my crickets. So what do you think that I should do more? And you do that rather than discussion with the coaches. Don't give your opinion to the coaches. You give your concern, not the opinion. And don't come up with the answer. Oh, sir, I know about this. I've seen on Google, what uh, YouTube and you know, how he bowls and how he bats. Sir, I'm working on that. Sir, I know everything. I'm batting well. Oh, we are the good student. Student listen to the school school teacher. When you go to school, did you ask your teacher say yes? Ma'am, I know this. Sir, I know this. I, uh, I can do this and I do. We don't do that. So why are we doing coaching? And when you are coaching, be with your coach. Spend some more time. If you bat well, look at your coach. If you bowl bad, go to the coach. He will fix your problem. No one else because he looks at in a different way. He looks at what is good to you. He knows that what is good in you. He knows that how he can fix this, no one else. So this is my video. I just wanted to thought, uh, I just thought of putting it out. Uh, as I said, you know, we go on cricket too. We have some specific plan. People think that, oh, it's a, it's a commercial. Yes, definitely commercial in terms of the time I'm gonna spend with my boys. 24 seven for 12 days, imagine how many hours to look after. And you know, it's like, uh, it's not a, uh, what do you call, thankful job. It's process for us because we really want to deliver because we see how much time, energy, money, efforts put by the parents nowadays to, the see, to see their kids learn the game. Okay, so when we see that we think, yeah, it's it's really important for us to step up in a such a way that if they can't come to us, let's put out some videos, motivate them, guide them. So they can come down to the practice. Maybe it may have work with them. We are coaches. We'll continue working on coaching. The people who come to us will do coaching. We see right now the more early morning, I was just making video just to say that make a schedule work on a schedule, consistently work on that, busy with that, preparing for that, like you go to school for eight hours, like that coaching is very important, two days or three days in a week, decide that four to six I'm gonna go, two hours I'm gonna hit this, two hours I'm gonna do this, you decide, not me, not your parents, no one else, you decide because you want to play cricket. 25 days I didn't do any warm ups, I used to go out in gym and all that. Uh, we had a tough time as I said earlier, but time has passed by, you know, and I had to come back to what, are, what all my routine is. So first thing in the morning, got up at six and start walking for 4,000 steps. Because when you start half of the 50% of your walking, if you do in the morning, I think then, you know, remaining 50% can be done by the day of progress. I'll have a one workout today around 12, 12.30 to start going back to the gym and uh, putting the same hard work uh, because I need strength because I want to stay in this game I want to be with the boys because it's my responsibility to make sure I can train more and more boys and we are we are very proud at GFOS we, we produce so many kids and we to run this academy for 21 years you need to have a lot of stamina a lot of uh, understanding with the parents a lot of understanding with the players and you have to earn the respect from the parents from the players and you have to make them better human being and cricketer and sports person so they can make the career out of it. We get only two hours. If I get eight hours, I can make a big impact. But that eight hours is difficult to get nowadays because more of the boys that they think they know, I think it's good they know their game, but if they don't know how to channelize, they know what they know. You need to know how to use your know into your system that only coach can guide you. Have a nice day. I'll keep coming with the videos and enjoy your cricket.